Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? So it's been rumored that Oculus will start production on the Oculus Quest number two by the end of July 2020. What does it mean? Well, let's explore. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you to VR Essentials. My name is Lazius K and we talk about the practical uses of VR. I'd also like to welcome back our regular viewers. Now, if you go to the VRessentials.io's website, you'll notice an article published by the Asian Nikkei Review, which talks about Oculus potentially starting production on the next Oculus Quest by the end of this month, which is July 2020. As a rule of thumb, when Oculus leaks some information, it generally means that they're going to act upon it. Now, they haven't actually said what the headset will look like, but if we pick up the breadcrumbs, we can start to put all the pieces together and see what's actually going to be happening. First of all, most of the media publications are in agreement in terms of how the VR headset will look like in their next design release. And everyone is speculating that it will be in between a Oculus Quest and a Rift S calling it the Quest S potentially. We also know that Oculus have been working on a new type of touch controller called Project Jedi. This is partly because a lot of people have been complaining that the battery cover actually comes off when playing games like Beat Saber or Racket NX or any other game where you get to move your arms and your hands a lot. The Valve Index controllers have been proven to be one of the most successful and popular controllers in the world of VR. So perhaps it could give some indication that the next touch controllers will have more sensors so that you have more adaptability when you're playing a VR experience. If you look at the Pico Neo Geo 2, which was released recently as a standalone 6 door VR headset, you don't actually need batteries inside of the controllers. You can just recharge them directly with a USB-C, as you can also do with the controllers of Nolo. And of course, Nolo basically transformed your 3 dov headset into 6 dov So it's possible that Oculus will actually omit batteries altogether from the next touch controllers. If we talk about battery life, we can talk about the P1 Pro 4K. Link in the description below the like button to that video which is a standalone 3 dot VR headset, but it will last up to five hours. Now, if you use the Nolo on top of that, it will eat up the juice of the VR headset, but it will still last for a good 3.5, if not four hours. So undoubtedly, it's very possible that the next Oculus Quest will also last between three to five hours. In terms of screen door effect and how the technology has improved, if we look at the Pico Neo Geo 2 or the DPVR P1 Pro 4K or even the HP Reverb G2, there's virtually no screen door effect. So it's very possible that the next Oculus Quest won't have any screen door effect either. Now we know that 5G will be pretty much the norm the next few years. So it's safe to say that Oculus will probably want to future proof the next Oculus Quest by having some kind of 5G adaptability to it. Now that also means that of course they're gonna have to change the chipset inside from the current Snapdragon 835 to potentially the Snapdragon 865 5G or potentially the XR1. With a faster chipset it also means that the next Quest will undoubtedly be faster by how much we don't know yet but the anti-aliasing of all the VR apps will probably be much better which means less jagged edges and smoother gameplay as well and then when you go from one app to another app these will also come up on the screen much faster. The Rift S also has an additional camera on it, so it's very possible that Oculus will further develop hand tracking by adding more camera trackers on the Oculus Quest itself, so that when we're actually moving our head or our hands away from the headset, we can still use our hands, because at the moment, our hands are pretty much defined by the positioning of the actual headset and where we're actually looking. Now, even though Oculus are currently dominating with 35% market share in the industry, they of course will want more people to get into VR. And motion sickness is definitely something that's played a lot with the current Oculus Quest. So they're gonna have to bump up the refresh rate from the current 72 to 90, if not 120 Hertz. But that will depend on the pricing of the headset. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. You are awesome. To discover more news and AR VR creators, subscribe to the channel or go to our website at vressentials.io. Until next time, hit the like button as well. Share some love so that you and I together we can grow the community and help as many people as possible in virtual reality because at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do here. All right, stay safe, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away. Whew.